Hi guys, it's Monsters, and I'm bringing you another tutorial. My previous video was a speed art, as far as I know, and this one is going to be on creating a GIF. A bit under the weather, so sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird or something. Um, but the first thing we're going to want to do is go on the window timeline. Just you bring up your timeline, which is also known in CS5 as animated or animation, something along those lines. Now you're going to want to unlock your background layer and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our layers for our GIF before we import them into the timeline. So for this I'm just going to do a two, a two layer type thing. Um, something. All these lines. I don't really know. Blow this off a bit. Maybe add some colour or gradient. Go from green to maybe a drop shadow. In a shadow. Bump that up a bit. Okay, so that's, that's going to be my first image. Now, the idea with this is you have to uh, make sure each layer, each layer will become the next part of the sequence. So now this layer will be the second part. So I'm actually going to, instead of doing that, I'm just going to duplicate this layer by using Control J or Command J on Mac. And then I'm just going to change this to an O. That's quite stretched. Um, hmm. Uh, if I use a circle. Sorry, I don't like this. There we go. Might rub out the middle. Bit like that. Okay, so now we have our. I'm just going to merge these by using Control E. So now we have our two and uh, like our parts of animation. We're probably going to want to delete the background. Okay, so now we go to this little tab here and then we do Make Frames from Layers. And as you can see, it's made frames from our two layers. So if I just press play, it's going to speed through that really fast. So I want to stop that. And then slow it down. So if I go over... Uh, this needs to be set to forever, otherwise it will stop and it will be useless. You need to go to the uh, delay. So this one's gonna there's gonna be a delay for how before this one cuts in. So I'll put a two second delay in. No. And if I put a two second delay on this one, and put no delay on this one.
minus two seconds away on this one. There it is. Okay, I want to shorten this down to maybe one. This also to one as well. Okay, it's crucial part, and that's saving the uh, image. So you just want to go file, save, save for web. Come up here to the preset, and you can save it as a GIF or GIF image. This will just show you the colors and such. You want to have transparency checked, and then looping animation set to forever. Obviously, there's a load of settings here you could uh, play around with. I wouldn't really suggest so, unless you really know what you're doing. But I'm not really into creating many GIFs as such. Um, however, some of you might want to play around. You can play here just to see what it looks like. It will look like. So you can see my animated GIF working again. So I just want to save this to your desktop. Some of you are going to remember it. Okay, so once you save it, you just want to go to your desktop and then find your image and then just drag it up into your browser and open it. And it should just play as an animated GIF. Thanks guys, this is Monsters. See you later for my next tutorial. Bye.